In this video, we will see that we offer the flexibility of NKM for the data capture process. For that, we have here an example of a form. In the top left of the form, we have a numerical code. In this case, the code appears to us in red, which is a pattern of seven digits, and at the bottom a text that indicates the type of form. For this, we use a specific parser to get the specific type of form. Here we some metadata, the code, the type of form, the technician assigned to the bulletin, the year and month in his form being dated to the system. We can see here the definition of metadata, which is a simple XML form. And in the metadata structure, as also a listing for technical. In this case, we have all the technicians who will be assigned a form. Run the OCR recognition process. We see that the number of the form is extracted and then we identify the form as type 1, which in this case coincides with this type. We go now some training files. The system will process. Once processes, we see that he has not been able to detect all types of codes and documents. For example, we take this file and we note that it has a lot of dirt in the form. This makes it very difficult, the OCR task. We return again to the Sonar OCR configuration. We will use the file that gave us problems and we added a customization process in the data capture process to isolate the red relative to the other colors in the form. Run the process and see that we have isolated the red color from the rest, removing all dirt and we have captured text. We run training files, remove files, we turn up training files, we see that the process has improved but still there are a few files that have not been able to identify. In this case, has not been able, so we are going to test from the administration. And here we see that the problem is that the color printing document is not always the same as may vary with darker and lighter shades. In this case, we see that by applying the filters to isolate us the color, the numbers are very degraded. Here we apply a further improvement to enhance the color and further optimization in the OCR. For that, we identify the digits and go much faster the capture process. Here we see that the numbers appear more detailed and that the capture process is longer correct.
we return again to run the training. We see the results and see that there is a document that has not been able to identify. We have previewed the document and we see that there are a number of spots in the text, which does not allow us to properly extract the text in this area. Then, we replace the conventional parser for a parser based in proximity algorithm. We run training files and now the result will indeed be optimal. We identify the document type perfectly, while well extracted, removing dirt and all those parts are not of interest, extracting the code of each form. We see here a type of form as, as we extract everything correctly. We can see here the metadata, but we lack a sign the technician, the year and month. We can take out our reported documents just as loaded to the system, and now what we will do assign the document we have loaded the technicians. We select the files, we assign a group of this metadata and automatically we will catalog the files. We choose a technician and now we will show the technical folder and we will see that all the files have been moved. This is the user identified, the year and the month in which the extraction was made and here we see that already have metadata. This has been a repeat through automatic test added event properties metadata. Here we see the catalog process runs to modify add metadata. We can see here the metadata assigned to this user. We see here the safety and only this user can get to see their own forms. And if we identify with this person, see the information, you can only see the user. As note, creating folders and subfolders is managed automatically by the cataloging process. Through metadata, the user, and not only for taxonomy, but for cataloging metadata, can locate codes and view metadata forms, stereo. This is a prime example of configuration capabilities and flexibility that we have both in the process of data loading that capture via OCR management and the subsequent cataloging them in a sign of safety taxonomy.